Hello folks and welcome back to another Wise Gamer video. Today we're playing World of Warcraft Legions. It's been out now for just a little bit over a week. I finally got 110 on my Warlock the other day. I ended up playing him first this time instead of my Warrior. Basically I'm, I'm working on, this video is going to be covering a really, really cool item in this game. I think it's one of the coolest items I've ever seen them come out with in this game. And it's called the Flight Pat's Whistle. And basically what it does is that it requests a pickup to the nearest flight path master. It's only usable in Broken Isles. So if you're out on foot in Broken Isles and you just want to get picked up to go back somewhere, this is why it's going to be very important to try to unlock as many of these flight paths as you can for this to work. And then it's going to actually come and pick you up from the spot that, that you're standing where you summon it, where you call it. And this is how you start off doing it. You do have to be level 110. Come to Archmage uh, Codgod. Codgod. Gah. <laughs> Codgah. There we go. Uh, and he's the one that's going to have the actual quest. Now, I don't know if... I don't remember if as soon as you turn 110, it automatically kicks in and you, and you just click to get the quest. Or if you actually have to come here. But when you hit 110... If you don't automatically get the quest, then come here and he should have the quest available for you. Now, I don't know if this also works for the Horde side, too. I'm not really sure. I'm sure that they got their guy that they got to go to because this is supposed to be an alliance section right here. Now, as far as the actual what's behind this is what you have to do, basically, is you got to get the five reps up of each zone in Broken Isles. So you have to get the rep up for High Mountain, Stormheim, Surama, Asuna, and Valshara. Now, but you only have to get them up to Friendly, which is not that bad. A couple of hours, each one, you're done. Now, if you are above that, like Honor and, you know, or whatever, that's perfectly fine too. As long as you're Friendly and you get all five of those, you're going to have that. Now, here's the quest. And my UI is kind of small today because I'm experimenting with my chat screen because, you know, my icon of my past videos was really huge. And, I'm, and right now it's, it's kind of small. So I'm, I shrunk down my chat screen, and that's why the rest of my system is also minimized too. So it's really tough for me to read all this stuff. And this is the quest right here. It's called Uniting the Isles. This is where we are. This is showing where the NPC is, uh, Kadgar. It's going to let you know again. Uh, what am I doing here? There we go. It's going to let you know again the facts. I mean the uh, reps that you need to get for each area, and if you completed it or not. So we could see that I only got one that's not complete, which is in Stormheim. So I'm going to go get that and then put that into the video, and I'll show you guys what the item actually does when you get this quest complete. So once I finish this. I just got to finish Stormheim, and I already got about almost five bars. No, actually, it's the bar on the top. I'm sorry. The other one's my artifact. And a couple of quests probably took me about an hour, and I'm already up almost five or six bars. I'm going to go up pretty quick, and like I said, you only need friendly. So once I get that, I'm going to show you guys in just a couple of seconds what that item is actually going to do, how it, how it actually works. Okay, folks, now I just finished the um, the reps that I needed. So, again, you just need five of the friendly for each uh, zone. So I just finished that. I did turn in the quest, and again, the quest for the Alliance anyways, I don't know if it's the same for the Horde, is inside of here. You're going to see the guy. So just go hand that in. Once you complete that, once you get the reps up to friendly at least, see if we can find the item. Here it is right here. The flight master's whistle. So let's let's go out somewhere and we'll actually use it and see what happens. Okay, so now we're out here somewhere in Broken Isles, and I'm going to use one of my kites to try to get as far away as I can from where I just hot stone to because it's right next to a flight path guy. But I want I don't want to try to fight. That, that should be good. 
All right, now I'm going to open up our bag, put this baby right on my bar there, and try it out. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And here we are, back at the closest flight path. Now, of course, if you have the other flight paths, now you could just travel and you don't have to fight your way back and all that good stuff and again it's only got a five minute cooldown which is really good so that's what I wanted to cover this time guys and thanks again for watching Wise Gamer playing World of Warcraft Legions and you have a great day take care bye bye